Hey, it's your boy Chango Smiles coming at you with another video. This one is Joey Diaz Best Moments Part 1. Brought to you by Joke World and their airplane peanuts. Someone comment down below and tell me what that's all about because I have no idea what the airplane peanuts um, even means. And if you're confused by this, you're the first time watching this, You'll see in a minute here. <laughs> but anyways, I'm excited. I'm a big fan of Joey. Let's check it out. What's the deal with airplane peanuts? See, that's what I, I played mean. freshman ball and we we're playing Patterson East Side. That's Wait. just a jungle of a school. Like you gotta be careful when you go in there. <laughs> and uh, we went there to play the Christmas tournament. Wait, what kind of ball are we talking right now? Basketball. Oh, basketball. And I hadn't taken a shit for like 10 days. I was backed <laughs> up something. I took acid, something fucked my stomach up. I didn't tell nobody. In those days, I was really scared of doctors, and I wouldn't say shit to nobody. <laughs> and on the way home, we got on the bus. And while we were waiting there, my stomach started hurting. And I said, Jesus Christ, I don't know if I'm going to shit myself or fart, but let me just take a chance. Mm, good and good and good I blew move. this fart, Joe Rogan. That was so bad, right? We were on a bus and people started running, you know those school buses? People started running to the windows, right? To swing down the bus windows. But here's what gets better. I farted again and the teachers were going, oh my God, he's changing flavors. <laughs> but, the changing flavors. but the worst thing was uh. the cheerleaders were crying. That's how bad it smelled. <laughs> they were sitting in front of the bus going, ah, He's changing flavors. One of the teachers yelled out, uh, Oh my God, he's changing flavors. <laughs> That's how bad these farts were. If you were put in a position to defend yourself, what would come out? Would it be the jujitsu training or would it be the jersey in you? The gun, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 53. I got time to hand to hand wrestle. I got a 22 in my asshole right now, pointing straight at you. There's, there's been, um, you know, a lot of uh, people that are moving towards minimalist houses, really small houses. Mm -hmm. And, you know, the idea is that, like, really, why do we have to have this giant fucking footprint of house that we live in? You know? and, and because you're getting paid, bitch. If I want to live in a fucking cell, I'll live in a fucking cell like a monkey. I'm going to live in a fold up bed like I'm James Bond. Like, if you're getting paid, you live in a fucking house I'm gonna live in a great little fucking house with a little kitchen to cook like I got a black guy bagging me in the fucking ass I don't need that a micro house what are you fucking people talking about I just snapped out of it dog you can't take me into those deep waters like <laughs> the Eureka fucking kill the brother right now the fuck are these people micro houses in the fucking desert you play it out to the world ends like a doctor I want to live in one of this uh, the Airstream one Brian's down Joey's not I think we have a real clear <laughs> line of sand right. Right. Shit. It doesn't even I about. fucking hate like if, if somebody calls me and says hey call god forbid tom segura his dad passed away i give it a day i call him like i usually do tom i love you i'm sorry about your dad and then i'll just drop like a what are we getting in the will you know what i'm saying yeah, like, yeah, yeah. is it going to your fucking creepy sister or are we getting <laughs> You know, what do we, and people usually go, you motherfucker, yeah, thank, thank you, you for making me yes. laugh. Yeah. Jesus Christ, nobody has the balls to call and insult me. Like, I'll call people and go, you got a brother? What do you want to do? You want to light him on fire so he gets nothing? <laughs> nobody <laughs> so else, he gets no, nothing. <laughs> nobody else can test the will. And they'll die a laugh to like, don't push nothing. me, because I hate that motherfucker <laughs> as it is. That's one way to approach someone that's grieving, right? <laughs> Can you imagine having that conversation? I mean, I guess if you're him, you can get away with it. Now, if Chago here says some shit like that, they might punch me through the phone. <laughs> yeah, that's insane. Anyways, let's carry on. And for five minutes, I just made that day. Yo, you remember that time you told me you mugged that gay guy and he beat the shit out of you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know? You, know? Yeah. you see my, uh parachutes on his bags of cocaine so if the cops came and he threw him out the window off the balcony that oh. this is this is how this is where it takes your mind but anyway that's a complete different story here yeah. i am here i am with this 60 year old cuban with underwear on nothing else and a gun 
right? And he's walking around, he's doing coke, and now he starts crawling, and he's running, running into a room, and he's doing blow. And I'm sitting there watching TV, and I'll never forget the song that was on. You know what the hot song was that week? Chucker Khan. Chucker Khan. Chucker Khan. Chucker Khan. Chucker Khan. Let me, and I heard that. I heard that song over and over. I stayed with him for four hours while he's doing the best blow in Miami. And I'm sitting there like a fucking priest drinking fucking soda. Really? Eating sandwiches. And I'm dying inside. I'm dying to do this blow. And in the middle of all this, I hear, pa, the gun goes off. And he shoots himself in the foot. And I'm like about to faint from anxiety and death. And, I, and his kid comes in and his wife. And they're like, what happened? And I'm like, he shot himself. He shot himself. I'm like, that's the third time in two years. Look at this fucking foot. <laughs> He shot himself in the ankle. It was fucking crazy. The cops came. They already knew. Oh, what'd you do, Muñeco? You shot yourself again. Jesus Christ. When are you going to stop doing that shit? They fucking took it. It was like another day in Miami. Oh, Jesus and I'm Christ. like, oh, my God. Now I don't have a ride. Now I got to take a fucking $80 cab ride. Body, I got to go smoke a cigarette. Uh, hey, hold on a minute. We got to say bye here to everybody. very solid points. Don't do the, uh, don't, yeah, no, I know. I, I, Joey, you, you get it. I'm with you, but this is just to let the American public know. That every four years they buy the same shit they've been buying every four years, and the same people with their Harvard articulation and how they don't curse, and they're Christians and they have a family, and these are the same people that shove it up your fucking ass every year. The one thing that you'll get about me is I'll say fuck, but I will not fucking rob you. If I need something, I'll ask you like a man. Uh, you're gonna go. Hey, hey, go, go fuck yourself, you cop. Hold on, hold on one second. Take a joke, take a shuttle. Joey Diaz, Facebook, Twitter, check yourself before you wreck yourself. Big dicks in your ass. Oh, get, out. Uh, get out of here! You're in trouble. I, I'm, I'm the umpire. This is the. Uh, I'm throwing. All right, all right. Listen, uh, stay black because that's the most important. Uh, okay, okay. Hey, Joe. Joe <laughs> Michael do? Jackson? Did uh, no, I don't know. Look at the movie. He was dancing and singing, and next you know he's dying of oxygen. No, not, not right. A junkie's a junkie's a junkie. He's a junkie every day. He doesn't wake up, sing, and dance, and then he has oxygen tanks at night. Something's not right there. And in my case, like old school, you're worth more dead than what you are alive. I mean, he's worth more now than he's ever been. I think Paul McCartney killed Michael Jackson. <laughs> What's changed where they go on Fox News? They don't give a fuck no more. Because nobody said nothing. They don't give a fuck. Why oh, would they? Half of these kids are coming back. This is the worst. It doesn't matter if they're addicted. Cuss you know, all that energy, you would think he'd be thinner. Because he's burning some calories right there, right? <laughs> Holy shit. How much does he eat to outweigh the fact that he's sitting there fucking working himself up, right? <laughs> Holy wow, this dude is crazy. Anyways, let's carry on. Thing is what's bad. No, no, no. You can't do nothing to me that Castro hasn't already done. And when this shit goes down, that's right. I got a recall that motherfucker right there. I flew on the flight afterwards, and I had fucking a bag. I knew an F word was coming. With, uh, I had a little bag of reefer in my fucking. Uh, no, you didn't. I do. Well, this is a conspiracy thing. This is just to show you how hard the airport people are working with their fucking X-ray machine. Now I had it in a baggie, and I put it under my left nut. <laughs> no, okay, we're not telling this story. Well, that's yes, enough. Now. Yes, for freedom of speech, I'll call Obama right now. <laughs> they said we're gonna put you to the x-ray machine i'm standing there sweating bullets with this baggie under my fucking oh that's nut. enough stop because my left nut's bigger than the right nut because i'm a right <laughs> stop people don't know that i thought i had cancer for a couple right. weeks you know the opposite hand is it's like satan than is in the control room listen to me so i'm standing <laughs> with my legs open with this weed stinking you're like rodney danger listen stop rodney fucking rodney i had this weed that was stinking up a storm not to mention my balls i'm sweating now because i'm gonna go to jail tonight and all of a sudden the guy goes he's clear and he shook my hand i'm like my taxpayers are hard at work hey so go fuck yourself you cop hold on hold on one second take a joke take a shuttle joey diaz facebook oh, twitter oh, check oh. yourself before you wreck yourself Big oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, get out of here you're in trouble I, i'm i'm the umpire this is the uh, i'm throwing all right all right listen uh, stay black because that's the most important uh, okay uh, they have not found osama bin laden when he's in new york right now somebody seen him last week at a hot dog stand they know me. <laughs> Of it. I am suffering so much inside. I was invested in that story. The fucking Osama bin Laden. I couldn't wait till they got him. I was like watching the news and shit back in the day. Fucking Saddam Hussein, same thing. 
I was just like, let's get those fuckers, right? <laughs> well, anyways, it's unrelated. Let's let's check it out. And I have so much anxiety inside. I got two options. You unleash it. I could either go up there and go. Ah, 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 <laughs> or do my comedy. Yeah. So how does my comedy come out? Like if I'm yelling, yeah. I take that mic. Wow, wow, I got fucking. I'm going. You suck him. There's right no the mouth. measuring with no, me. No, you suck him right in the mouth. You know. Oh, oh, he's 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 measuring. <laughs> they love it when the Something audience. Man, that's Anthony when you know Rumble you're doing Johnson. your job. Oh, no, you I, I got I got. I'm at the comedy store. I'm following eight beasts, and I got three beasts behind me. I told him the other day, I don't go to the comedy store to be the best comic. I go to the comedy store to be remembered. Do you understand me? I mean, this was nonstop. Another night, Bonehead came home high on heroin, <laughs> and he decided to make French fries. <laughs> so he put the pot out. Remember the, 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 remember in the 80s, they had those pots you could bring it home with the hot oil, and they would boil, and you could throw French fries. America went crazy over them. I forgot what they were. Crazy. Everybody was French making, fry machines. Everybody was making <laughs> onion rings and shit. Well, he did heroin and knotted up. Left and that the thing fu- and the thing went on fire. We're, of course on, it did. we're all in the fucking house. Oh Jesus! All right, I wake That's up. oil. I wake up to ba boom, and alarms, and all of a sudden Kurt's waking me up, and we go out <laughs> the house, and the father's outside, and the grandmother's got and the fire department crawls on top of the roof, Joe, and they're hitting the fucking <laughs> roof to let the smoke out, and fire trucks are coming from the side, laying water, and they got the sirens in the middle of all this. It's eight in the morning, and we all look around and go, "Oh my God." Emil's still in the house. Bonehead was still in the house on fire. Bro, they turn the fire off, they go in. He's still with his feet up. <laughs> with his hands crossed. Just heroin out of his mind. Watching TV like that. <laughs> he slept through the fire? Oh my God, everything. When they woke him up, he goes, are my fries ready? <laughs> this is how crazy this family was. Are my fries ready? Oh, are my They're fries like, Bonehead, ready? We have two fucking battalions out there. <laughs> <laughs> we got half of 9-11 out there. Oh my God. And you're still fucking sleeping. Hold on, let me go get a wine glass. Yeah, just give me the fucking glass. I gotta wait. Just pour the fucking wine in there. What's the yeah. difference? Well, the wine glass, the aromatic. Listen, dude, he makes Shut Bert the look f- skinny, or maybe his Bert is skinnier than that. I don't know, but he's—they're he, both big boys. <laughs> Fuck up before I smack you. Just give me the fucking wine. Yeah, he would always come down with wine glasses. It would piss me the fuck off to no end. And the girls would be impressed. Oh, my God, shut the fuck up. Drink the wine. Just shut the fuck up. Drink the fucking wine, you know? Like, I'm one of those guys. I don't like no drama. And the people I grew up, I remember one time going out to dinner with my friends. I'll never forget this. I still talk to them. The Holloways. Roger had just graduated high school. The craziest family I grew up with. Yeah. Dad was a bookie. Mom worked in the city on a ship, like, uh, for a shipping company. And it's his 18th. We just graduated high school. And he took us to a fancy restaurant. And I'll never forget the guy comes over with the thing in front of him. Yeah. The Mr. Holloway says, can I get a bottle of wine? The guy comes over with the thing in front of him. And he you know, takes the bottle and he pours a little and then he tastes it first. I'll never forget in high school. In high school, my friend looked and he goes, da, 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 da. just give me the fucking wine. <laughs> the guy's face turned pale. Really? I just give me the wine. I don't want no show. Yeah. You don't have to taste it. You don't have to do nothing. Just take a fucking <laughs> ice in the wine. Like, we all froze at the table. Oh. Like, I grew up with people like that. Like, one time we were at a buffet, and some fat chick was eating ribs, and I kept looking at my friend Roger. And he was eating, but he kept looking at it. And he would look at it, and he would get mad, and he'd look at it. And finally, I saw him put the fork down, and he threw the napkin down. And he went up to the chicken, and he goes, let me ask you a question. Because she kept eating all the spare ribs. <sighs> There was this place that gave you half a spare rib, yeah. and she was taking all of them, and she was dipping her fat little fingers in the spare ribs and putting them back. Oh, and wow. my friend, like two weeks after the incident with the fucking wine guy, yeah. he went up to this chicken and he goes, let me ask you a question. <laughs> before you eat that wing, before you eat that rib, do me a favor. Go to the bathroom, look at your ass, and ask yourself, do I really need this rib? <laughs> I'll never forget, we turned purple. Yeah. The people I grew up with were very, like, we don't like chit chatter. Yeah. There's no chit. Like, my wife, she would have got killed. Really? Like, my friends would have stabbed her. That's so funny. Ter- Ooh, Terry's, Terry's, someone, Terry's a sweetheart. Yeah, but she's so someone that 
Because so I used to do chit chat. I'm deaf. Yeah. Don't be chit chattering. If you got something to say, say it. Don't be chit chattering. Yeah. I don't like that uh, sitcom mentality, like little jokes. My friends would have killed them. <laughs> yeah. My friends would have stabbed them. They didn't like that either. You get in the car with them, shut the fuck up. What worked to me is you got to do something. You ever meet somebody and they don't do nothing? <laughs> Yeah. You meet somebody, they don't do nothing. Uh -huh. They don't do nothing. Like a, they don't like, date. They don't, they don't do drugs. They don't play checkers. They don't do nothing. How long do you like those people for? You don't. I like people with a little bit of edge to them. They got to do something. If you tell me I don't like alcoholics, but I love heroin, I'm in. If you tell me you, you suck toes for breakfast, I'm in. You got to do something. And he told us about when he shit uh, in his backyard and somebody thought it was a bear had come. <laughs> I'll never forget. The lady, she would she, leave, a bear. she would let her dogs out every day at five. <laughs> and then she would clean up. They were all French poodles. Yeah, yeah. So I like could little, see the dogs' it was, asses high up in the air. Yeah. were just reeling back from the shit. Like, shut uh, the fuck she went a like this. shit. Joe Rogan, she looked at it. And she was like 58. So she squinted at the <sighs> shit up against the wall. Uh, but his was beautiful. Uh, I took a shit and I put my back against the wall. So when I shit, when you shit outside, it's not going to be a decent <laughs> shit. Yeah. It's going to be like explosive. Like uh. So when I got up, it looks like somebody got shot in the head. <laughs> there was shit all behind me on the wall. So she's sitting there with her little French poodles and her little chihuahuas. And she's looking at the wall like, what the fuck happened there? And all of a sudden, she actually walks up close to it and squints and looks down on it and looks around and runs in the house. I'm watching all this. I can't breathe. <sighs> And now I go to the computer because my wife's very decent. And uh. I'm sitting there for a half hour. And then my wife comes in and she goes, Were you home all day today? I go, Yeah, why? She goes, I just had a conversation with Susan. <laughs> <laughs> she wanted to know if you heard anything in the backyard because oh, some yeah. animal took the shit back there. I went, I went to get sushi. Like, you ever go get sushi, you need a lot of it. Hey, yeah. The rice pushes everything out yes, of your ass. Yes, yes, And you had plans to go get a weed store, you were going to post store. <laughs> but I made a detour. I planned to go home, but I left the house key in the house. So I had to climb around the window. That's what happened. Yeah, yeah. So when I pulled myself up, I actually landed with my stomach on the window. And now you really Which got made it push yeah. it out more. Like I'm like, <laughs> and I'm fatter than fuck, and my hands are struggling in the window, and my little fat feet are on the other side, and the cats are meowing at me, scratching at me. Like, and I'm like, it's me, you fuck. And I, <laughs> so I ran out, ran down the stairs, and shit outside. Oh, oh, I couldn't get in the house. Yeah, I got this Christ almighty. Dude, I remember one time, I had a similar story. Not that gross, but like, it was back in the day when like, you didn't have like the um, the keyless entry to your car, so I left. I got home. I left my keys in the car. I closed it and I locked it. So I, left, I locked my keys in the car. So my keys to get into the house were in the car, and my spare keys to get into the car were in the house. And it was cold as fuck outside. And uh, I just sat there. This is before cell phone. I didn't have a cell phone. I didn't have like so. I'm just sitting there, just chilling, dude. I couldn't. I like everything. All my house, all the doors to the house were closed. Uh, like I just fuck. Like somewhat by chance. I think my cut. My uncle came over. Like I hadn't seen him in forever, but just that day, he just so happened to come over, <laughs> and he helped me get in somehow. I didn't feel like dude. That shit sucks now. Did I shit on the side of a house somewhere? No. <laughs> but it was a shitty situation. Just not that shitty. <laughs> Anyways, let's carry on. See, I'm fucking saying. That is the shittiest salute. Get up, everybody, get up. It's Memorial Day weekend. I'm sure you had a grandpa who killed the Japanese person. <laughs> I'm sure you had an uncle who stabbed a Puerto Rican in the heart. Something. Get up. It's not about potato salads and cheeseburgers, you fucks. It's about being a fucking American, a state of mind. You don't need to be born in America to be an American. You just need to get up in the morning, grab your balls, and look at the flag, and look at Jesus and say, you know what? America. I got this, cocksuckers. I don't need no fucking welfare <laughs> check. I'm a savage. All I need is a fucking knife, a spear, and a fucking... 
I don't even know what I need. No. If it's two in the afternoon and you ain't high, go fuck yourself. Get out of my face. <laughs> I want you around me. Like you gotta fucking go in New York. Man. Yeah, you gotta go. People they're, don't go like this in New York. Got a stop sign. Yeah. You know how they do here? Like, no, you go. Get the fuck. Somebody fucking go already. <laughs> <laughs> fucking moron. I gotta get to the weed store. When Israelis come to the store, you better be prepared. They fucking come heavy duty to the store. I've been up there a couple Tuesdays and three of them have stuck up on me. We're from Israel. Where's the flying Jew? We want to party. Where's the stars of death? They're fucking nuts. And you gotta love them. You gotta love them. And the, they were comics. From listening to Rogan Experience, they started doing comedy. I guess Israel's got a big comedy it's scene there now. It's just starting now. It's just starting, and they fucking want to be rough comics. Wow. So the one kid's like, I'm trying to do fucking Hitler jokes, and they're, throw <laughs> and they're throwing me out of all these places. I'm fucking howling. I'm howling. People are like, what is he talking about? He's like, I'm doing fucking these dirty Hitler jokes, and then Israeli people throwing me out of restaurants and shit. So he goes, I'm coming to America to do Hitler jokes. <laughs> Nothing but heart. <sighs> Nothing but heart, these motherfuckers. <sighs> I'm sitting there going, oh no. Where's the flying Jew? We want to <sighs> meet him. <laughs> I'm coming to America to do Hitler jokes. Oh my God, he was pissed, this kid. He was doing, he was serious. He's like, dog, my comedy's a little rough, man. He goes, I'm up there doing fucking Nazi jokes and shit. They throw me out of the comedy venue. Okay, so. That was pretty good. God, that energy. This dude comes with the energy. Like, he he probably burns like a million calories a day, but then eats three million calories a day. Like, this dude fucking eats his food with a shovel, probably. Like, just fucking. <laughs> Holy shit. And then, like, his... His... Fart and shit jokes, stories, I, I should say, his stories that involve shitting and farting are some of the best, I gotta say. <laughs> I feel like that kind of comedy is not for everybody, but God, this dude, he had me rolling, man. This dude is funny. <laughs> I would love to see him in person just fucking lose his shit in front of everybody on stage. I bet that would be fucking entertaining. I need to look I need to look him up and see when he's touring out my way. And uh maybe maybe I'll go uh catch him and uh check him out. So <laughs> Well anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you made it this far, at the very least, go ahead and throw me one of these, right? And then, uh, and go ahead and subscribe. And, and the best thing about subscribing right now is I'm running a special and it's free. I'm not going to cost you anything. <laughs> um, but yeah, jokes aside, go ahead and take care and have fun. Peace out.